recently on Monday, Binance came out with their information on how many tokens they were going to burn. Right now, Binance is burning trading fees instead of 1.2% on all spot and margin trading. Hey everybody, Robert Doyle back with your crypto news and quick crypto fix. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, we talk about crypto, what's going on in the market, and all kinds of other things. I'm doing a series of interviews too going forward that you're going to love. We got Think Randy coming on Friday, James Pelton later on in the month, and I'm gonna try to get some other influencers and people that you know and love from Twitter Sphere on the channel so we can talk to them and really feel like how they got into the, to the market, why, what they like about crypto and some other things. So stay tuned for those videos with your love and support, with your likes and comments, we can grow the channel. Without that, I'm just gonna be talking to this microphone and this camera and nothing else is gonna happen. Appreciate you liking and subscribing. Let's go ahead and get into some quick news. If you've been following the channel recently, no, I'm a big Luna fan, I have a big bag of it. It's not exactly what we want. I've said it out on my Twitter already that, hey, 99% of the community want 1.2% on spot and margin trades. That's what we want. That's what we shouldn't settle for anything less, right? Be sure to aim your tweets at CZ, at Binance, and at all these other exchanges that are not living up to what we need them to do. This rate, they burned about 5 billion tokens on Monday. At this rate, I'll probably be dead before we see Luna Classic hit a dollar. This is going to take 50, 60 years at this pace. There's a lot of things happening inside of the Terra Luna Classic community. They're trying to bring on a new kind of, uh, it's not a stable coin, it's a stable token that can lose its deep pegging there's some information and we'll go over some roadmap stuff on that and i just want to talk with you a little bit today about the news and really what i'm paying attention to in the market i'm watching the global markets as a whole watching what's happening in the uk right now with their bond market falling apart deutsche banks credit swiss that is not good at all that could be four times worse than what happened with Lehman Brothers back in 2008. So there's a lot of stuff I wanna just go over with you today. I will try to keep it short and sweet and to the point, but let's go ahead and get into the information. If you haven't gone to terrorrebels.net, it's a great website. They have a lot of good information on here. As you can see, they hooked it up with a uh, with a roadmap here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can be expecting here. So the, the fa uh, formation of Terra Rebels, governance proposals, right? So right here, we're in quarter three. Let's just skip to here. Finalizing epoch testing, software merge into the main branch, white paper release, which they've done all of this already. And then ahead here, we got a disable market swap, rework underlying Cosmos tender mint skeleton upgrade to a vanilla Cosmos 45.8. And there's also some other stuff down here. Assess burn tax, right? Yeah, they really need to assess that and figure something out. But there's a lot of good stuff happening here. If you want to go to terrorrebels.net, read their white paper, how they're going to try to plan to bring this ecosystem back to its to its old glory. So there's a lot of great information here and you should definitely go through it if you plan to hold. Like I, I do, I plan to hold. I've already made my money back with my investment on Terra Rebels and I, I'm sitting on 160, 170 million tokens uh, that I'm in here now for free. You know, we're going to see how this plays out, but I do have faith that there's a lot of great people in the community, a lot of great other influencers out there spreading the good word. And we're just going to have to hold steady and see what happens in my personal opinion with this one. Let's go ahead and take a look at some news, guys. MasterCard looks to make buying crypto safer with risk assessment tool. Great. We like to see stuff like this, right? Crypto Secure. That's a shitty name. Sorry. Sorry, MasterCard. You guys need to work on the name. Crypto Secure will incorporate the insights and technology of Cypher Trace to help card issuers assess the risk profile of crypto exchanges. Great, great. We're moving there, guys, right? Bit by bit, piece by piece, we are moving to mass adoption, right? There's nothing that you can do today, nothing that I can do or say today that's going to stop this. Countries around the world need DLT solutions, if not for cross-border payments, but to make you know businesses healthier, trade finance. Oh man, we had the best conversation. Crypto theory. So in Cryptoneers is my community. We had this gentleman come in here, blockchain utility theory, and he gave a two hour chat to our community on TradeFi, XDC, some XRP stuff. Truly a brilliant mind in the space. Go ahead and drop him a follow. Subscribe to his channel if you really want to learn. As you can see, I was watching some Apex stuff before that. I'm a big fan of Apex. When I can play, I try to play, but usually I'm doing crypto. But give him a follow, guys. We're going to have him do a series of private chats for our community and our members only. If you do want some more information about joining Cryptonaires, we do have a free 30 days right now. I think the code right now is one cents a month for three 30 days of Super Bowl. It's just a great community. You know, we have hundreds of members. We got a great team and all the information gets 
poured into that. So anyways, let's get back to some news here. MasterCard pushes deeper into crypto with new tool for combating fraud. This is, a, this is another article on the same kind of piece. They really need to get a better name than crypto secure, but you'd love to see it. Grayscale takes over key role for Bitcoin trust and other products from Genesis, right? You need big conglomerates, right? Like Grayscale and some other of these big guys. I, I wouldn't be surprised if all of Fidelity's and all these guys are gonna be getting into all of this, right? Because this is money being left on the table, right? There's gonna be investors that are gonna want access to this stuff. And if they don't give them access to these tools and these ETFs and all this other stuff, they're gonna go somewhere else, right? Realistically, right? If you are banking somewhere or you have your money parked somewhere and they're not giving you the tools that you want to hopefully grow your wealth, you're gonna move, you're gonna move all that stuff, right? Also too, guys, let's check this out. Pope Francis instructs Vatican entities to move all funds to the Vatican Bank by September 30th. This is about five, five to five to six billion dollars that they had moved, but even the Vatican's calling in all their placements, right? They want their money safe and secure where they can control it. They don't want it out there for the next Lehman Brothers moment. Let's be honest, right? If you're not giving James Melville a follow on Twitter, you should. This guy is brilliant. He puts a lot of great information together. This will this is what I was talking about at the beginning, right? Where it could be four times as worse, right? The Lehman Brothers disaster in 2008 was about six hundred billion dollars, largest bankruptcy filing in U.S. history. Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse, guys, it's over two billion dollars i think they they have i want to say 2.5 trillion dollars in assets these guys they've made loans and people owe them money but they're having problems balancing their books right now and it could be a huge problem if you could see their stock prices have just like high hundreds down to seven dollars losing 90 percent of their value 75 down to three dollars and 60 cents guys this is not looking good for these two companies here's james again our monetary system is built on the house of cards of quantitative easing to save the entire system the fiat monetary system is broken a papering over the cracks of 2009 and the ultimate solution is a financial reset towards central banking and digital currencies guys i i do 100 believe this the current financial system right now is broken it's there's no way around that there's a lot of problems with it and there's going to reach a point where we cannot kick the can down the road anymore You've seen in England just recently this week, the bond market fell apart. The dollar is very strong. It's causing the weakest pound in decades. And that's a huge problem, right? You see over and over again that these countries are going to have to restructure their currencies, right? This is a huge problem. And so you have the United States right now who's been raising rates and raising right now. We're going to go through the midterms after November 8th. I think it's going to get a lot worse around here and I'm preparing for that. And I hope you are too. If you need help, seek advice from a financial advisor. I am not one. I'm just a guy who loves crypto and likes to talk about it with you here. But if you have your money tied up somewhere, speak to somebody with a fat degree behind them, Stanford or whatever school that you choose. But there is some very intelligent people there that can help you if you are losing money or you do have those questions. Seek help through them. Seek entertainment through me if this entertains you. The credit default swaps for Credit Suisse are currently rocketing northwards. High CDS is a credit default swaps high cds levels are a market indicator that companies are in huge financial trouble guys look at this this is back to 2009 right look at this right here we're about to reach it it's not good guys this is not good at all this is really bad and here it keeps getting problems for the uk's financial policy right now they want to increase your mortgage rates to slow down your spending, but offer massive tax cuts to those who don't actually need it. So the UK had a great plan to, they're having all these problems. Let's go ahead and give tax breaks to rich people. That didn't go so well. Actually, I saw this like yesterday that they went ahead and rethought this idea. They're not going to be giving those tax cuts to rich people. Indeed, I don't know, guys. I guess rich people own the world and whatever they say goes, unfortunately. If you missed the news about Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 being sabotaged or blown up we're still waiting to hear who actually did it but it's causing some issues around the world right and so energy costs in europe are one of those things i've been talking about for months in our community and our, my community knows this over 15,000 german stores are facing bankruptcy due to soaring energy costs this is terrible guys this is regular people like me owning a business and they can't operate their business due to stupid management of utility systems. We rely on our governments to get their heads out of their asses and set good policy. And unfortunately, good policy is not what we're setting here, guys. So just understand that 
You look at your life, you're like, man, my life is in shambles, my life is worse. Think about people that are losing everything. Think about people in Florida that have lost everything, right? And that can be said around the world in different places. And just know that somebody else other than you has it a lot rougher than you do, okay? Lehman Brothers 2.0, guys. This is a problem, guys, right? The story began with ABC's Australian Post with a major financial bank being on the brink of a default. The news outlet has not pointed out which bank is in the state that mentioned this article, but financial experts and economic... Eco economists it's just one of those words my tongue doesn't my tongue doesn't like to roll like that i had a suspect in mind guys it's, it is credit swiss and it's deutsche bank right deutsche banks made some shady dealings in the past too but just understand guys this is going to get way worse before it gets better way worse and you need to be prepared for it guys you really do and being prepared is getting educated if you stayed through the full 12 minutes and 13 seconds, 12 minutes and 30 seconds of video, I love you. Thank you so much. I will keep this short and sweet towards the end here. Asset management giant Fidelity adds to crypto offerings with Ethereum and index funds. This is going to be everywhere, guys. In a year or two from now, you're going to walk into your bank anywhere in America, Canada, whatever it is. They're going to be offering you crypto. Why? Because it's a way for the banks to make money, right? They're always looking for different ways that they can make money. And so many people in the world already own crypto and it's there's no putting the bunny back in the box. I just had a flashback from a movie. Sorry, I wasn't. Put the bunny back in the box. Oh, what movie is that from? Comment down below. I know you know this. Nicolas Cage. That's all. I'm, that's it. I'm only going to give you that one hint. Fidelity's new Ethereum fund will occur, will offer, I can't read, will offer clients access to ETH the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap. The fund raised about 5 million since sales on September 26th. So it already raised 5 million filing with the U exchange, U, the U, U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The minimum investment is $50,000. Fidelity launched a crypto focused institutional custody and trading platform, Fidelity Digital Assets in 2018. The firm offers two exchange traded crypto funds dedicated to the metaverse and digital payments. Respectively, last month, news broke that Fidelity was considering offering crypto trading to its retail brokerage clients. That's It's coming, guys. It's coming, 100%. First mover, America's Bitcoin burst past 20,000. Guys, so what's happening here is the Fed, the dollar is losing a little bit of its steam. It's at, It's been out of control lately on, on, on around the world, basically the dollar to other currencies. And so basically the dollar's losing a little bit of steam. So other things and other commodities are coming up, right? Gold, silver, oil, Bitcoin, things like that, right? I don't need to read this to you guys, but just understand this guys, you know, I appreciate you watching it. And if you're still here, I love you so much. The world is in a screwed up place right now. And it's not gonna get better anytime soon. The only thing that me and you can do is to stay educated and stay in front of all this information, find different ways in a down market that make money, find different ways in a bull market to make money. It's a lot easier in a bull market, mind you, but there's a lot of other good channels that you can go to and you can see to help you grow and really help you understand what's happening around you. And if you need help or you want a great community to rely on, if you don't have 10 hours a day, if you don't have a team of researchers, if you're out here alone and you want a great space to come into where you're going to feel welcomed and warm welcomed and people are going to help you and you can ask questions and no one's there to scam you, Cryptionaires is a really good place, guys. We've been open 18 months. We got a great team of over 20, 25 people, researchers, code auditors, security professionals, right? We're working with a new marketing company to bring in more opportunities for our community members, whitelist opportunities, you name it. Sign up today, cryptonairs.com. You can use one cents a month for that free first 30 days and see what you think. I do think once you get in there, if you gotta use the tools, you gotta be present for the information, all right? It's all recorded, but if you're not present and you're not absorbing the information, it's not gonna do you any good. Right, you have to spend a little bit of time per day or whatever it is to understand what's going on. But if you do, guys, you know, we're in there making money, we're in there having fun, we're in there talking about the future. And if you want to be a part of the future, I'll see you around the Discord, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I'll see you on Friday for the Think Randy interview. I'm really excited to speak with Randy, and I hope you have a fantastic day. <laughs> I don't know what that was for, but random. Bye, guys.